creations of Allah. Call them aliens, call them UFOs, this is not besides the point. Has Allah created others besides us? Were they before us? Were they after us? Are they in other galaxies? Is besides the point. Are there other creations? Perhaps, yes. What are some of those verses? Well, let us begin with the first verse. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. All praise be to Allah, the Lord of every single alam. What is an alam? An alam is a world or an alam is an entire species unto itself. And Allah is the Lord of every single creation. So obviously classical scholars understood alameen to imply man, animals, jinn, angels. But from the very beginning, Allah is saying, you're not alone. There are other creations I have. Another verse that is interpreted in this manner is that Allah says in the Quran, He has created the heavens and earth. وَبَثَّ فِيهِمَا مِن دَابَّ and he has scattered creatures throughout the heavens and the earths. Now one could say, he has scattered creatures in this heaven and this earth. But the verse is the plural, samawat. He has scattered creatures. Then he says that, If he wants to, he can cause these species to meet, to come together. Meaning they are not together right now. So this could be interpreted. Now others will interpret it in another manner and they will say that while well, Allah is talking about the Day of Judgment, He will gather them together on the Day of Judgment. This is also valid. But the language could possibly be interpreted that He has scattered creatures throughout the heavens and earth and if He wants to, He can cause these creatures to meet. This is also linguistically possible. And of the evidences that in my humble opinion, I say I lean towards the position that was championed by Ibn Taymiyyah himself more than 700 years ago. And Ibn Taymiyyah believed, or he's, I should say he suggested and he defended the position that we are not the only creation of Allah and that it is somewhat arrogant to assume that we, have, we are the only creation. Rather Allah has created other creations and he will continue to create other creations after us. The verse that I think is perhaps one of the strongest to indicate that there are, or there were, or there will be other creations of Allah is Allah saying in Surah Isra, we have honored the children of Adam and we have allowed them the opportunity to ride in the oceans and on the animals. We've given them things that other creatures have not been given. Then Allah says, and we have blessed them over many other creations that we have created. Now, in the creations that we know, the world around us, are animals and jinn higher than us or are we higher than them? Who is at the top of the hierarchy? We are. The angels bow down to us. So the righteous of the men are better even than the angels. And we know the jinns also were told to bow down. And obviously the animals are lesser than us. Yet Allah says in Surah Al-Isra, we have privileged men over many other creations, not all other creations. There could be other creations of Allah that have been privileged over us with things that we do not have. There could be. The Quran does not explicitly affirm or deny the creation of other entities. The Quran is ambiguous. In the end of the day, Islam, the Quran, our religion is not explicit about other life forms. However, some people have interpreted some verses to imply that there are other creations of Allah. Did they live before us? Did they live after us? Are they living contemporaneous to us, i.e. right now? Are they living in some other entity? Allah knows best, but perhaps, I want everybody to be very clear, do not misquote me. I am saying the evidence of the Quran is ambiguous. Nothing is explicit, but perhaps some evidences can possibly be interpreted to suggest other creations of Allah. Call them aliens, call them UFOs, this is not besides the point. So the brother asks a very good question and that is, what is our position about alternative life forms, i.e. aliens? Do Muslims believe in aliens or not? And the fact of the matter is that this isn't a funny question, it's a very serious question but we don't call them aliens. Has Allah created other beings? Or are we the only creation of Allah? That is the question. And the response is we will never know for sure in this world and most likely in the next we won't care. <laughs> but some scholars, including Ibn Taymiyyah, have opined that 
Allah Azza wa Jal has created other life forms. And that this goes back to the perfection of Allah being Al Khalaq. Khalaq means the one who continues to create. So the notion that the only creation is us, and after we're gone, there will be no other creation. It seems to suggest as if La Hawla Khutila Billah that Allah is not really creating perpetually, continuously. And Ibn Taymiyyah felt that this diminishes the majesty of Allah. That he felt that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has been constantly creating and will constantly continue to create to no end. And that what we know is only our world. That in our world, Allah began in this manner and there's going to be Yawm Al-Qiyamah. This is our portion. There are others as well, before us and after us. Are they simultaneous to us? Ibn Taymiyyah didn't talk about that. Ibn Taymiyyah is talking about the issue of Allah always creating. But there is no negation of the fact that other worlds could be simultaneous to us or other creations could be simultaneous. And there are many evidences that might possibly suggest this. So please don't misquote me. Don't tweet Yasir Qadi saying there's aliens. Please, careful. <laughs> Keep my reputation and others. I'm saying there is some evidence to suggest that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created other creations. Whether they are before us or after us or the same time as us, the Quran does not mention anything. But the Quran might possibly suggest, is that clear? That there are other creations. It might possibly not suggest that either. What are some of the evidences? Number one, وَيَخْلُقُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ He has created things you will never know, you don't know about. So you will never know, which means this is not something you can see. وَيَخْلُقُ مَا لَا تَعْلَمُونَ He has created things you don't know about. And we continue to discover new species every day. That's not what Allah is talking about. Something else. Number two, that Allah says in the Quran that خَلَقَ السَّمَاوَاتِ الْأَرْضَ وَبَثَّ فِيهِمَا مِنْ Allah has created all of the heavens and the earth and He has scattered throughout all of them creatures. Not just on the earth. The samawats and the samawat as we talked about in Surah Yusuf and in the tafsir, uh, the samawat is not just our heavens, it is beyond our heavens. And Allah says He has scattered creatures in all of them. And if He wants to, He can gather all of them up at once. Or He can gather the two of them together. Now you can understand this verse to mean the Day of Judgment, which is the majority interpretation. Or you can understand it to mean Allah has created all different creatures and if He wanted to, He could cause them to meet. Both are linguistically possible. There are other evidences as well. I'll just jump straight to the one I think, Wallahu A'lam, is the strongest evidence to suggest that there might be other creations of Allah. And Allah knows best. Surah Isra, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا بَنِي آدَمَ وَحَمَلْنَاهُ فِي الْبَرِّ وَالْبَحْرِ وَرَزَقْنَاهُ مِنَ الطَّيِّبَاتِ وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى كَثِيرٍ مِّمَّنْ خَلَقْنَا تَفْضِيلًا We have honored the children of Adam, and we have carried them in the land and in the seas. In our times we add in the airs. And we have given them many things. And we have preferred them, humans, over many other things that we have created. Which means we have preferred some over them as well. Do you understand? وَفَضَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَىٰ كَثِيرٍ we occupy a high rank according to this verse, but not the highest. You could interpret this again, you could. All of this is ihtimalat, right? Which means now, in the world that we inhabit, who is at the top of the pyramid? I mean, in the creation, it's us. Who bow down to us? The angels, the jinn. So then we are at the top. In this world of the creation, right? Yet Allah says in Surah Isra that we have honored the children of Adam over many other things we have created. Not all. So again, these, these are all gray areas. So to, to summarize, and with this we conclude, we went way over time. The Quran does not explicitly 
claim that there are other life forms or before or after us. But a number of famous theologians, Ibn Taymiyyah has an entire section dedicated to it, and one famous non-Muslim scholar by the name of John Hoover, J-O-N-H-O-O-V-E-R, has written an entire paper. If you have, I think it's even on PDF Google now, just Google it. It's called The Perpetuity of Creation in the Thought of Ibn Taymiyyah. It's in English, it's in fancy schmancy academic English, but it's in English. And you just Google it by John Hoover, The Perpetuity of Creation and the Thought of Ibn Taymiyyah. It's an entire paper where he comp compiles what Ibn Taymiyyah said in his evidences in simple English, well, not simple English, but in English. And basically, this is the summary of it that he says, it befits the majesty of Allah to have created and to continue to create, and we are but one of Allah's infinite creations. Alhamdulillah, we are happy to announce the launch of the One Islam TV app. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets, and so much more. Two new videos uploaded daily, insha'Allah. Watch videos on demand, or download videos and watch offline. No more annoying ads or pop-ups. 100% safe browsing for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest, or drive with your device switched off. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you. As we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders, Insha'Allah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.